So hello everyone, today I am going to play Worldwide Maze by Chrome, p Google basically, it's a Google Chrome Worldwide Maze, it's like a, uh, it basically turns a website into a 3D maze you have to complete. So it says, play now with your PC and mobile phone, so basically the game is a PC game and you control it with your phone, so it's like a con wireless controller thing, so it's kinda cool, so let's start anyway. Uh, so basically, here's the steps. You connect. Uh, second, uh, you select the website. Third, it the Google uh, the thing uh, transforms the website into a well a 3D maze. And then four, I didn't press anything. <laughs> and then you play basically. I didn't press anything anyway. Okay, what's so we're gonna sync in this type thing. So don't worry, uh, code changes every time. Uh, uh, for Android users, uh, if you're using Opera, which I like, uh, don't use it, it doesn't work. Uh, I haven't tried with the stock in the internet br web browser. Um, just use Chrome. Chrome. Uh, anyway, uh, and it works with iOS, Android. I don't know if it works with Windows Phone, so for someone check that. Uh, Check that out. Yes, test it somehow. I don't know if you have a Windows phone or a tablet that works. It has a Windows 8 or something like that. Windows something mobile thing. Anyway, I don't think you just need a browser and things. So let's. I don't know. I don't have anyone. Don't even know anyone who knows something like this. So. So okay, we're connected. Connected. That's good. And now. Uh, we're gonna search for my uh, Steam. Uh, uh, the first one, and look at your PC as it says here. Uh, you could control it on forty-five degree angle. That's I think that's the zero position. So, so as you can see, it transforms your website into a three D uh, maze. That's the um, finish you have to go. So we're gonna attempt that um, as much as exploring as we can because there is a time limit and I would uh, love like for them to implement uh, to like a uh, explore mode uh, so uh, for like just to explore the website in general it would be cool why not okay uh, head for the goal okay we shall do that um, what I don't like about this game latency you should improve that I would like for them to create for the uh, game itself create a, like a local network like uh, the Wi-Fi goes to a router and then to the um, um, to the <coughs> computer but not like um, I think it goes to servers like and stuff but so uh, let's see the server latency right I press the power right I press ah fuck let's go to the corner Anyway, I'm just gonna notice my to wait and wait and see while I'm playing this. Okay, so power, right? It's on. Where's the zero position? It's over there. And see the move. I, how I move it when it, how it responds. So that's not that great. Great. Okay. It's an awesome game anyway. <laughs> Fun to play it sometimes. Sometimes. I just discovered it yesterday, so <laughs> sometimes, yeah. Kind of. uh, let's go to that KSP badge I have there. Oh, there's a dead end. Nice. Thank you, Google. Thank you. That was nice of you. Come on. Come on, you can do it. And I would, for them to implement this touch screen uh, for my phone, you can I could use, like, uh, for the rotate the camera. What's that cursor way? No one loves it. No one loves the cursor. Okay, uh, see so there's that community something badge and there's this thing so you can exp no don't dro jump over I did this previously when I recorded and I didn't set the quality save so so basically should be better the quality now uh, this is the third time recording and I had problems before so I had to record again uh, amateur ah <laughs> uh, fuck let's go uh, so there's the KKSP 
group anyway some groups so go roll my friends some friends there's Paco Master this one Paco Master that creator of Sinking Simulator and there's J2 Cents I don't j want to jump power uh, check him out on YouTube it's J2 Cents um, yeah he's ju he makes awesome videos about stuff so yeah oh there's a dead end awesome go away Oh uh, fuck Oh uh, uh, someone was well someone's level ten anyway let's jump yay and we finished so we're gonna check out the um more usual like <coughs> the like what the Google website itself. So finish game, okay. I think you can control it with your phone. Oh yeah, there's more option options. Like, see, there's more options and stuff. So let's just the uh, new game. I could control this on my phone. Why uh, uh, well, I want to put the mouse here and the keyboard here so you can see I'm not using it, right? I'm gonna use, uh, no, I'm not gonna use that. Wait, let's see if it does spawn. Oh, it does! Does if I type something, oh, it does! Wow, that's awesome. Uh, but it, there's a latency. As you can see, I press the button. There's some latency, so you can see. Oh, let's go to Google. So I don't use any mouse. And yeah, let's go there. Anyway, okay. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna. This is the b most basic, and I think the m one of the easiest uh, maps. The website's simple, just straightforward, actually. So, let's see. Now it doesn't give any tutorials because I played it already, and it knows that. But but if I start again, it will show that. So, hope so. Okay. Whoa. And there are uh. This uh, requirements for this game aren't that bad. There, uh, so what this was, 512 megabytes of free RAM, something. Uh, that was what I remember. There was one gigabyte of RAM, something like that. You don't need too fast of a computer to run this anyway. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna wait. Uh, complete this, so it doesn't go too long. <laughs> Oh no 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 let's see uh so basically yeah it's fun but the wait and see and stuff with graphics are Good. Oh, they're okay. It looks looks like a looks like they made this in Google SketchUp, <laughs> probably, which probably is the case. Uh, but it looks good. Good for three day get three D game and the for reflections of the ball itself are okay for the website. And that the thing that you can uh, like play any website you want is awesome. I tried to search on my YouTube page, but it doesn't didn't want to show that c thing. You know, let's see that if it does doesn't. Let's test that because there was my latest montage. It did sh it did show that, so I'm gonna control it on my phone. N n no keyboard, no nothing. Finish game. Okay, no name. I'm no name. I have no name. New game. So I'm gonna search for. Ah. Oh, Search. Uh, okay, Roy Thunder. Okay, Roy Thunder, that's my mo montage I did. Let's see if it does work. And I hope it does. I haven't. I, I didn't play this level. I did play the Steam level, but I haven't. So the <laughs> video isn't available. But anyway. Uh, oh, that's nice. It creates this. Oh, this is even better, I think. So. Oh, we start here. That's nice. This is nice. I think this is better than some of the others. This is awesome. <laughs> oh. 
I think the more complex your maps is, uh, maps are like more RAM or something you need, I think, yeah, to make. But it's uh, use just a browser game, so nothing to claim, claim, <coughs> complain about. Uh, so, so, yeah, so need some more work and we end, because I'm not going to finish this, play, play, play it yourself, it's awesome. Uh, what's this? Someone's video. Smash it! S uh, because it's not mine and because it's, it's a shite uh, thumbnail. Uh, okay, let's go. Okay, let's go this. <whistles> Up here. Uh, it's like this awesome maze. So I think sometimes it creates this linear like well, I want to go that that uh, level video itself. Oh, fuck. These are the shite videos. Oh, come on. Uh, okay, let's go up again. So. The graphics won't for the ground won't be good because it's a website from taken from a website and websites don't have to be that crisp because you don't like zoom in that much like f maybe on phone you can but on on a computer eh. where's one of my videos where me come on phone it's so kind of lagging. I don't even know why. Probably because I set to h such high h quality, it has to. For the f I think uh, the more uh, it doesn't use that much cores of of piece uh, com <laughs> of a CPU, so it does like stri like it. You probably use one or two cores or something like that. I don't even. Probably d don't check even. I don't have a software to check it. But uh, uh, basically. I'm because I'm encoding a video and playing this game probably for for few cores. If it would use like uh like for recording two like cores and like core three and four and playing like uh, play for the game itself like core one and two, it would be smoother. I think like I don't even know how much cores this need game needs. <laughs> how how uh, yeah. I will uh, like that, because I, or even something like a background process like course four, uh, five, and six, something like that. And I, f no, I don't want to go. Ah, uh, so basically, I'm gonna end here, guys. So, see you guys next time, and don't forget to subscribe and like if you like it. If you don't, just don't like it anyway. So, see you guys next time, and bye.